The cells in our body have to respond to different extracellular clues, stimuli and stresses and produce an appropriate cellular response. For this to be achieved, information has to flow from, say, changes in extracellular environment to the nucleus where an appropriate response can be produced. This information flow is achieved by a cascade of biochemical changes, which are called post-translational modification. Ubiquitination is one such post-translational modification, and this is what my lab is very interested in understanding. This biochemical modification involves the attachment of a small protein called ubiquitin onto substrate proteins. One thing I have to highlight is that ubiquitination regulates almost every aspect of eukaryotic biology. So how does this one small protein, ubiquitin, do so many different things or convey so many different messages? The way that this works is that ubiquitin can form polymers. And these polymers can be assembled when one ubiquitin is linked through to another ubiquitin. Eight different types of ubiquitin polymers can be assembled depending on how two ubiquitins are connected to each other. Now you can take this uh, an analogy with language where ubiquitin is the word and depending upon how it is connected to another ubiquitin, you form a sentence or a, a distinct message. So my lab tries to understand how different messages are decoded by uh, the system and this is done by proteins which contain ubiquitin binding domains. So we want to understand at a mechanistic level the different strategies employed by these binding domains to decode the different messages. Now once a message has been conveyed, the message also has to be erased. And this is performed by a dedicated family of enzymes called deubiquitinases. One cell type that my lab is particularly interested in are called T lymphocytes. Now these are key cells of the adaptive immune response that protect us from infection and also from cancer. Through some studies we know that ubiquitination plays key roles in these cells because mutations or alterations in this, these pathways can lead to autoimmunity and inflammation. A long-term research goal of my lab is to understand how these ubiquitin signaling networks regulate T-cell biology, for which we're employing a multidisciplinary approach to understand the different ubiquitin messages that are used in T-cells, how they're decoded and read out, and the regulatory networks that, that control this pathway. Having a global understanding of how ubiquitination regulates T-cell biology will not only shed light into fundamental aspects of T-cell biology, but it will also help us understand how things go wrong in disease. Mm -hmm.